Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I want to look at how you compare two sheets to find the differences. We'll look at two scenarios, one where the sheets are in the same workbook and then where the sheets are in separate workbooks. If the sheets are in the same workbook, the first thing I would attempt to do is to show both sheets on the screen at the same time. And the way to do that is to go to the View tab on your ribbon and then click on New Window. Now what that does is create a second window showing the same workbook. I want to show both of those windows on the screen at the same time. To do that, go back to View, go to Arrange All, select Vertical and click on OK. On the left side, I'm going to show Sheet version 1. On the right side, I'm going to show Sheet version 2. It's the same workbook but in separate windows. Now the sheets look identical if we just glance at them, but there are some differences here. And the first method we're going to do to identify those differences is to use conditional formatting. And what that is gonna do is it's going to format cells that are different, say with a red background. So I'm in the version one sheet and I'm selecting all the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. I go up to the Home tab on my ribbon and over to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. And then I go to Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to write my formula in this little box here. And this formula is going to compare A1 in the version 1 sheet with A1 in the version 2 sheet. It starts with equals, then I click into A1 in the version 1 sheet. Now those dollars we want to get rid of, and there's two ways of getting rid of them. You can either keep pressing the F4 key at the top of your keyboard, or if that doesn't work, you can just backspace the dollars. You definitely don't want the dollars in your formula. Then we're gonna say not equal to, less than, greater than. And we're going to compare A1 in this sheet with A1 in this sheet. So I click once into that window, and then I click on A1 in that sheet. You can see that it's prefixed the cell address with the name of the sheet, but also I have the dollars there, which I need to get rid of. That's my rule. And if it's true, I want the background color of the cell to change. To do that, I click on format. I go to fill and I choose which color I want to apply to the background of the cells. I'm also going to change the font color, I think. Let's go for a white font color. Click on OK, click on OK, and there we are. It picks out the cells that are different. So you'll see that this third telephone number is different to this one. And also Jerry Hulls down here is now Jerry Smith. But the second method I'm gonna to use to compare the two sheets is where I'm gonna use a formula. And this formula is going to be used to display the table, but where the cells show different values, Within that cell, it's going to show the version one value and the version two value. I'm going to do this on a separate sheet. I'll call this compare sheets. And I'll start up here. I'm going to use an if statement and the test I'm going to run is going to compare a1 in the version one sheet. So I clicked on the version one sheet down there and then clicked on A1. And I'm gonna say, is it equal to, you can see up on my formula bar here, I'm writing my formula. Is it equal to A1 in the version two sheet? I clicked on version two down there and then clicked on A1 there. That is my test. You can see it in my formula bar. My value if true, it's basically going to be the value that's in A1 on either of the sheets. So it doesn't matter which sheet I click into here because the value is common to both sheets. Value of false. If the values are different, I want to label the version one value. So I'll say version one colon. And I have to put that in quotation marks because it's a text value. And I'm going to concatenate that with, that's with the ampersand symbol, the value that's in version one. Then I want to say what the version two value is. So I'm going to ampersand again, to concatenate that with a bit of a spacer, and then version 
two, colon, close quotation marks, ampersand, the value that's on the version two sheet. Close the bracket, press enter, copy across, copy down, then I'll widen the columns. And you can see that where a difference has been found, it shows the version one value and the version two value, making it really easy to spot where there are differences. Okay, so those are the two methods I wanted to show you if the sheets are in the same workbook. What if the sheets are in different workbooks? Let's close these down and open up two different workbooks. Now I've got two separate workbooks open, uh, version one and version two, separate workbooks. And the first trick is to get both workbooks on the screen at the same time. All I do is go to view. I don't have to click on create new window this time because they are already in separate windows. I go to arrange all, vertical, click on OK. And I've got the two workbooks on the screen. I can't use conditional formatting across workbooks. So I have to use the formula method to find the differences. I'm going to do that within the version one workbook. I'll create a new sheet, compare workbooks. And it's the same formula equals if logical test. What I need to do is compare A1 in this workbook with A1 in the other workbook equals click into that window, click into A1. Now you do have to watch this because when you click into another workbook, it automatically puts the dollars in the cell address, which fixes that address. It's not very good when we want to copy it throughout our table. So you've got to take those dollars out and it's F4 on your keyboard, or if you prefer, you can just delete backspace those dollars. But please make sure you get rid of the dollars. That's my logical test. If true, I want to return the value in A1. Comma. If not true, we need to label the version one value, version one, colon, and concatenate it with the value in A1 within the version one workbook. Then I need to put a bit of a spacer in, so ampersand, open quotation marks, put a spacer in, space, version two, ampersand, and the value in the version two workbook. Again, I've got to remember to take the dollars out, close the bracket, press enter, and then I can copy it across, copy it down, maybe do a bit of widening of the columns so we can see things more easily, and you can see where the differences are really clearly. This formula will still update even though it's pulling values from another workbook. Uh, let's prove that that's the case. What I'll do is I'll change Jerry Smith in the version two workbook to Jerry Hulls. And you can see now it gets rid of that little label that indicates that there is a difference in the cells. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.